Every day, our bodies are under attack from bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Over hundreds of millions of years, our immune system has evolved a range of systems to protect ourselves. One of the primary responses includes antibodies, which are naturally generated defense proteins. Their purpose is to recognize foreign organisms or molecules entering the body, bind to them, and direct the forces of the immune system upon them. Antibodies are produced by an immune cell, referred to as a B cell, and we have hundreds of millions of different B cells in our body, each producing their own specific antibody, which is secreted into the blood and also presented on the surface of the B cell which encodes it. This provides a vast repertoire of potential defense proteins. When we encounter a foreign molecule, bacteria or virus, there is often an antibody available in this repertoire to bind to it. Binding of the foreign molecule to the antibody presented on the B cell stimulates the B cell to multiply and make lots of secreted antibody product to remove the foreign molecule from the body. Within each B cell, there is a gene encoding the specific antibody secreted by and presented on the surface of that B cell. Thus, the B cell forms a unit with the gene on the inside and the product of that gene on the outside. Biotechnologists have harnessed the capability of antibodies to develop treatments against a variety of disease classes, including cancer, autoimmune diseases such as arthritis, and viral infections. The genes which encode antibodies can be manipulated outside of the body to make effective treatments. It is possible to isolate human antibody genes to almost any target, using a bacterial virus called a phage as a workhorse to create vast libraries of antibodies. This powerful technique is called phage display. John McCafferty, founder of IONTAS and inventor of antibody phage display, explains. Using phage display, we create repertoires of antibody genes in a way that makes it very easy to identify antibodies to any desired target. First, we recover repertoires of antibody genes from many human donors. Once we've isolated the genes, we clone them into the phage's DNA. And we do this in a way that generates a phage particle with the encoded antibody protein on the outside. Thus, we've made a tiny package linking the recipe for the antibody, the gene, on the inside with the resulting product, the antibody, on the outside. We can create very large libraries of these phage particles containing billions of different antibody genes. And through a relatively simple process we call biopanning, phage particles which display an antibody that binds the target are retained while unbound phage are washed away. We can recover the bound phage along with the antibody gene inside. And so in this way, the antibody gene is selected on the basis of the binding activity that it encodes. The antibody gene can be recovered from the phage and used to produce human antibodies in cultured cells at any volume we want. These can be purified, concentrated and turned into medicines to treat many diseases. The technique has been adopted by many companies, large and small. The success of the technique is reflected in the many hundreds of antibodies in preclinical and clinical development, with a number already approved for use as frontline therapeutics. The best known is Humira, the world's biggest selling drug used for treating autoimmune conditions such as arthritis. Antibody phage display was invented in Cambridge in 1990 by John McCafferty and Greg Winter. In summary, Phage display allows us to harness the power of the human antibody response and allows scientists to manipulate antibodies and produce antibody drugs to treat disease and save lives.